The Locust Grove Cemetery on North 3rd Street in Nicholasville has headstones that go back to the 1800s. Some here who are resting in peace don't even have a marker. For example, a man who fought for this country during the Civil War. He's an American soldier almost forgotten to time. Jessamine County native Private Anthony Mack Mackinum. Private Mackinum was part of the 100th U.S. Colored Infantry. John Buckler, with the sons of Union veterans of the Civil War, led the charge to get the Union soldier who died in 1931 this new headstone. Actually, I cried a little bit when we got it done because it was a relief. Lucienda Nobles is Private Mackinum's great-great-granddaughter. We definitely wanted to do what we could to make sure that he did get the, um, the recognition and the credit for what he did to serve our country. The other half of this story, no one knows exactly where the soldier is buried. They just know he's somewhere in these grounds. Frank Cannon is a former member of the cemetery board and a Vietnam vet. Cannon shows us where some headstones are covered in overgrowth. You, you can see how this one's all eroded. Cannon is a former Army helicopter pilot. His mission in the 1960s was equipment recovery, but now it seems he's still on duty. This is, this is a recovery mission. Where's the man buried? Don't know where it is. Uh, we're going to recover, and this is just, just a marker up there to let you know we've recovered something. We've recovered some information. Private Mackinum has been gone for almost 100 years, but the end of his story is to be continued. In Jessamine County, Jeremy Toms, WKYT.